Yo, what's up, guys? It's Simpo. Here I am with a vlog. The start of the vlog. You know, I have a video directing, not directing, whatever. <laughs> I'm tired. It's like 4 in the morning. Uh, I get you, I bet you, bet you guys have some questions <laughs> what's going on. Um, I uh, took a trip down to Tampa, South Florida, uh, to visit my brother and also go to a convention, which is awesome. And I've had quite the ordeal. <laughs> So, I kind of want to do a, not a daily vlog, I'll probably just do an all-in-one kind of thing. Uh, I'll just tell you a funny story uh, for tonight before I go to bed, because I am all ready to go to bed. And, you know, so pretty much uh, it was like seven-hour drive. It took a little longer because I took some stops, and I drove the wrong way for like 45 minutes. Uh, that's... That, that's pretty much the end of that story, but, uh, what happened was, is, it, it, it's, it's, I'm not really aggravated about it, oh, strap, I'm not really aggravated by this story, it's more or less of, kind of funny, because I'm tired, and it's just, it's just hilarious, so, pretty much, so I get here in Tampa, I get all the way here, it's like, one o'clock in the morning, and everything's fine, so I get up here, and I go to my room, that I'm going to, now, my brother told me, that I'm going to be staying in a room with him with some of his friends. I imagined I knew the people because I know a lot of his friends. I didn't know any of them when I get there and I come to figure out that nine other people are staying in one hotel room. And I'm like, oh, are you kidding me? And I sit there for a while. My brother wasn't there because he was helping unload something because he was working for the convention, whatever. But um, we get there, I get there and I'm sitting there for a while you know, just relaxing, and it's, it's really, like, frustrating, not frustrating, it's more frenetic, I think that's the word, I'm not sure, frantic, because I'm driving for eight hours by myself, just calm, really, just, like, me focusing kind of thing, and then I get into a room with, like, eight girls that are going around trying to fix up their costumes, because they're all on the shows, and just all this stuff and I'm just sitting here like <laughs> so I'm just like oh my god it's crazy and I get there so I'm like you know this is way too much uh, I know the people next door so I talk with them for a little bit I told my brother I was like I'm gonna go get my parking situation figured out and I'm gonna chill out in the lobby for a bit he's like okay so I get my parking situation it's like $42 for like the whole weekend which is ridiculous and I I park. I'm all parked and everything. I, I didn't unload my luggage at all. So that's fun. Uh, and what else? I'm going to edit this out. Uh, so I'm sitting in the lobby. And I, I'm sitting there and I'm like, okay, I, I, I don't want to sit. I don't want to sleep in a room with nine other people. So I, I uh, checked my wallet, and I didn't have a card. They never gave me a card for the 20 minutes that I met them, because they were just running around doing stuff. And the way the elevators worked in the hotel room, not the hotel room, the, in the hotel, between the hours of like 11 and 6, you need to use a card. So I was like, ah, fine. I'll take the stairs down to the lobby, obviously. I was like, okay, maybe I could take the stairs up. No, they're one-way stairs. So I'm like, are you kidding me? So, I'm in the lobby, I'm like, well, let's see if they can call up the room. Their room number's on Do Not Disturb. I'm like, are you kidding me? So, I'm texting my brother, calling him. I realize, oh, his phone is broken. So, I'm literally stuck in this lobby. This cool guy I was talking to is one of the chauffeurs. It was hilarious. He, he, he had a kind of an accent. I could understand him, but it was, it was, it was kind of funny. I had to get one of the... Uh, concierge to go up to the room, talk to my brother, get him down. So we talk things over, and I realize that, like, I'm not going to stay in that room. I was like, you should give it a try. You really should. I'm like, dude, I'm not, I'm not going to stay in that room. He's like, okay. Um, so my mom hooks me up because she has these points and stuff, and I want to go into it. So now I'm staying in this king suite by myself. That it's like a 10-15 minute drive to where the convention's at, which is fine. 
Um, yeah. So, it, this is a crazy situation that's gone on for the past three hours now. And I'm running on, like, no sleep, really. I mean, like, I've been awake since... 7 yesterday morning. So... It's crazy. But I just want to, you know, get you guys started on this vlog. It's going to be the whole weekend. Uh, I'll show the con, really. I'll show, like, some clips of, uh, you know, like, the convention floor and stuff like that. And I'll just probably get some uh, pictures. I might do uh, some pictures here and there. Uh, I might do a, uh, if you guys want to see the costumes that people wear, I'll probably just put together, like, a snapshot, like a thing that's like a time lapse I would say of uh, just costumes and pictures I took I'll be taking a lot of pictures mostly uh, of anything interesting I don't know if I take pictures probably not I'll be vlogging <laughs> um, yeah I'll try and wrap this up in one video this is kind of a long start I just wanted to open up with a good story so yeah it went from me sharing a room with nine people mostly girls it's like my brother another guy and me and then all the rest are like girls and they're crap everywhere versus and then it ended up being me in a king suite by myself so I don't know if it's the upgrade <laughs> but anyway it's more or less interesting now so I'll talk to y'all tomorrow <sighs> bye This is uh, Brogan, uh, Zach's friend, and uh, he picked me up for the con, so uh, that's part of his vlog thing. And he's staring at his phone, very alertly. Navigation, because I'm still not comfortable with Tampa. Oh, wow, all right. And we have a lovely, up, Kathy. we have a lovely, lovely lady escorting us to the con. It's Sony. Her name is Sony. I think it's like a black chick name or something. I'm not too sure. That might be one of them right there. No. US 92 Roman's racist. Hey, Leroy Jenkins. Oh, they can't do that shit. Oh, never mind. Literally, there's a sign that says Leroy Jenkins. Dude, look at that face though. Doesn't that look Photoshop? Dude, it I can't point to it. You guys can't see it. Whatever. We're just gonna look at the road. Right onto I'm on the road again. US 92 West. Oh, it's the Buccaneer oh, Stadium. Oh, that's a Buck Stadium. Are in the Buck Stadium. Darn the black eyes. Big fucking surprise. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not racist. One of my best friends is black. <laughs> I have a friend. That's the worst excuse I ever to not be racist. Who says he has a friend? <laughs> I have a friend who says he has a friend, that's why. The, and he says I'm totally not racist, so that means I'm not racist. I have a black guy that says I'm not racist, so it's everything's okay. Jesse Jackson forget, gave me, you know. <laughs> Reverend, Jan, Reverend Jackson. Dude, I'm worried that these people in the other cars are just wondering, because I, I don't want... They don't give a shit. I don't want to turn the camera to the cars, because I, I really... Look like a pedophile. I, yeah, exactly. I don't want to be like, I'm videotaping you for a video that someone's going to watch. And masturbate to. And masturbate to, probably. Because, dude, I'm pretty sure that's all what your viewers do. Not going to lie, just masturbate to you. Oh, yeah. Fire. I mean, what else do you do on YouTube? Hey, those are the peanuts! Oh, my God, I didn't even see that. I love peanuts. Oh, they can't see that. I can't zoom in. So high right now. <laughs> <laughs>
basically I'm waiting for money to switch over to my account right now and Zach's looking at some of the panels and stuff and he told me you know what just have one on one time with the audience they probably don't like me but whatever it's his channel and he said just talk about something just let your feelings out this is, I guess this is like a therapy session or something uh, this is too stupid or something. I'm sure Zach will edit this out and you guys probably might never see this, but um Yeah, apparently I'm supposed to say some shit Coolest motherfuckers at the con right here these guys right here right here These guys like this one. All right. We're, we're done. We're done nerding out. That's all you need to see over. Point is, there's that. Done. Over. There's no debate. I can, I can videotape the others, but they wouldn't even come nearly as close. They just went straight up, straight out of Compton. Yo, yeah, dude, I'm terrible at this videotaping thing. I'm in, and, uh, there are people. This. This is my home. Super Smash 64. What kind of cables is this using? Is this like VGA cables, not HDMI? Yeah. I, you can fucking tell from like a mile away. So the game room. So basically, I don't know about you, I spent like 80% of my time in the game room. Uh, I went to some stuff, but I did a League of Legends tournament, guys. I, I, I don't want to sound like, oh, you're just bitching. I'm not bitching. These fucking tech people who ran, like, the game show, who brought, like, their computers and stuff, because it's, like, a gaming place. Um, fucking half the computers on one side were literally, like, okay, how, how can I explain these computers, Rogan? Windows 9. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> they were. No, they weren't. Were they? Yeah. Well, even then. <laughs> it was XP and 98. Well, XP's not bad. Bro, everybody loves XP. But it's so old. Everybody loves XP, I think, bro. I think all of them were XP. Dude. Can we stop at the Dutch angle? X People are going to get sick. Oh. Uh, but the way it worked was like random teams, which is okay with. We had like good team comp. So we had random teams and stuff, but it was so one side on the computers because these side, like you have the right side and left side. Yeah. The right side, I don't think half the computers passed 30 frames per second. Yeah. And one of the computers literally dropped at two frames. This guy pulled out his own laptop to help him because he had the worst computer. Yeah. I was on a computer that was moderately fast. Like, yeah. But it was so terrible at some times. The other side had crystal clear computers. So they had an advantage on us. That's a big advantage. Too. Yeah. And because he couldn't connect to the internet very well on his laptop. Yeah. He kept dropping in and out of the game. Oh, dude. One of our main tanks. So... Yeah, Literally, it was one-sided. I hate to bitch, but really, it's what it was. Like, I really hate to bitch, but that's really what it was. So, I was pissed off at my thing. How about you? You talk about you now, Brogan. Turn that camera on yourself. We're talking about you at the game room. Explain to these casuals so, about... So, so, I play fighting games. I don't play... I should not do Dutch angles. All right. I, I play fighting games, and... I actually didn't have much of a problem other than that 64 thing. I mean, the 64 thing was like a side thing. Like, I shouldn't have been complaining about it as much as I did. I was just grumpy at the time because they were dicks. Well, not dicks. I guess, I guess it's my fault. But, yeah. You're too point, hardcore. Po point is, is I raped some motherfuckers in Smash Bros. My, my Street Fighter was pretty weak. I haven't played Street Fighter against, like, I haven't practiced against, like, somebody good. Like, everyone in my campus is pretty bad except for this one guy. I don't play him enough, so I haven't actually gotten good practice in, so right, I just... Found, we're gonna try and go to Steak and Shake, because I've never been, and there's a bunch of them. Which one? Dude. The closest one. Is that one <laughs> Southdale Mabry? I think that's actually where... I live. Like, not I live, where the hotel is. Well, why don't we go? Mm, I'll check though. I'll get the. I'll put it in, mm -hmm. and then I'll see. You'll cross-reference the. This route the, has the tolls. What? What? Oh what? God. I ain't paying no toll. And if I don't pay no toll, they ain't get no rules. I hope that with myself. Are you okay? Should I go tomorrow? Northdale. Oh, it's Southdale. What? Uh, I really don't want to go stick and shake now. God. Well, no. Is I that the only one? There was like five, but they're out way out there. Shit. All right, fine, we don't go. We're going McDonald's. No, 
Not McDonald's. That's like a super step back. I could live with one step back. That's like a super step back. Bro, how much money do you have? Honestly. I, I've got good money. I got good money. Your dad texted me earlier. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Point is I can I can buy a meal for myself. Okay. So let's just go back. We got Burger King too. I can live with Burger King. I can't live with McDonald's, bro. I can't bring myself to that. Dude, I fucking hate McDonald's. What's wrong with McDonald's? What's wrong with McDonald's? What's right with McDonald's? Other than chicken nuggets. Jesus fuck. I mean I mean burger. Do you wanna kill yourself? <laughs> Look where I'm at. Yeah, I, I, I should have realized who I was talking to. <laughs> yeah, honestly. So, thoughts on the people cosplaying? Very good cosplays I've seen. And also some, someone that looks like they have Asperger's threw it together as well. Somebody said I had a cute butt. I remember that. Sure. It, was, it was actually not the word cute, it was sexy. Sexy. So, I was like, okay, good job. I'll remember who said that though. That's a sad thing. It was just kind of like a random comment. I was like, oh, thanks. I've been hit on a bunch. You? Really? I mean, well, I mean, he is a handsome man. <laughs> actually, a few more beer compliments than my beards. Every, oh, dude, you got a shit ton of compliments. Or at least when I was with you, you got a lot of compliments on your beard. Um, Especially for that hipster guy. I might uh, be talked about on a Game Grumps episode. Why? Because, um... These kids were like, dude, you look like JonTron. Because Aaron, Aaron Hansen, if you guys know, Eagle Raptor is a gamer. Uh -huh. So he was in the game room just chilling out and stuff. And um, this guy's like, dude, you look like JonTron. Uh, Aaron's like, he doesn't look like JonTron. I'm like, thank you. I don't look like JonTron. He's like, he just, big guy with a beard. I'm like, yeah, fat guy with a beard. So stereotypical. Just people think you're JonTron. I'm like, you, you want to take a picture of me and show it to JonTron? We'll get the official JonTron. Do Seal of John approval. <laughs> Seal of approval. He's like, yeah, so Eagle Raptor took a picture of me. And eventually I'm like, dude, you might not want to forget about that. It's gonna be hilarious to look at your phone like a month later and see a fat kid in your phone. You're like, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. So, we'll see. Maybe they'll talk about us. Us, you mean you? Me, yeah, yeah. whatever. Well, me and him are the I'll same person. I'll go on person. Twitter, <laughs> I'll go on Twitter and ask you after saying, hey, I'm the fat kid you took a picture of. Can you reply to me? It's like, dude, I've taken a lot of pictures of fat people. <laughs> I take a lot of pictures of fat people. I go to conventions. <laughs> but, I don't know. That's interesting. I've met Eagle Raptor before, like a uh, bunch. Yeah. Like, I've met him twice already before, and I met Dog Walker a lot. Yeah. Like, so, I really didn't want to see him. Brogan wanted to, but he missed it. He I mean, I mean, I saw them. I did see them. Okay. I, I had, like, a two cents. Aaron is tall, like, I told you. I didn't really pay attention. He's really tall. He has a mustache going on, too. Okay, he does look a little scraggly. He's a little scraggly. He, he looks like he's lost a little, a little bit of his egoness. Egoness. Like he's Egosness. like I guess it's his fiance like taking his soul out because he looks a little chubbier, a little hairier. I don't know. Like Game uh, is probably sucking the soul. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I guess that's just a better uh, thing. Sorry. Look that kid. Basco. Basco kid. Bye. <gasps> What? Ooh, actually, that's probably closed. No, I think they're closing. No, they're closing. I, mean, I don't want that awkward feeling. Oh, yeah, dude. But Nina, you know, we're eating lunch tomorrow. Yeah, I'll forget. Should I? I'm, I'm probably not going to go to the con tomorrow. You know well, what? at least I'll go, but like, I'll just chill in the lobby or whatever and talk to people. Because, mm. uh, yeah, I don't want to pay another $30 for this. I kind of need that money. Yeah, it only goes until like 5 or something. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude, no. I'm talking about the whole weekend. I'm staying till Monday night, so. Yeah, we'll chill or something. Chill, bro. Chill. Dude, I really wish I brought my game. God fucking damn it. I blame you, bro. Seriously. We should have just stole one from the fucking game room. <laughs> Just 13 minutes later. Oh shit! Stealing the shitty PCs that they have. No, not. PCs. I'm telling you guys, like, if those PCs were custom made. Another rant. Fucking, they must have been made at six hundred dollars. It's so fucking garbage. Where am I going south? Yeah, south. Oh fuck. Oh my god. But yeah. <sighs> Ay, 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 mi cabeza. 
Yeah, that. I wonder how my brother did, though, in the Shadow Tournament. What was he? He was Taskmaster. Oh, yeah. He had, like, three fights. It was really cool. Mm -hmm. 204. Go! Oh, shit! What? No! What? There still might be time. For what? Lottery. <laughs> you will play the lottery. You will win. You'll give me 10%. Again, 10% is steep. Fine, fine. 5%. Steep motherfucking percentage. Look, you know what five percent of three hundred fourteen million is? Mm. I don't fucking know. A lot of goddamn money. <laughs> again, though. No, again, that's you're gonna get if you, if you would theoretically have your side of the deal, you would get five percent of my money. <laughs> but the thing is, again, me and Josh agreed two way split on any money we win from the lottery. So until you become a greedy motherfucker. No, 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 type of fucker. We would never do that. Yo, what's up guys, Tippo. Here I am with the last video log of the trip. For those who don't know, uh, me and Brogan, if you guys haven't paid attention to this whole video, uh, I've been down in South Florida uh, for a convention. It was really fun. Uh, Brogan did some vlogging when he was here. I have not seen the footage, so, yep, I'll see when I edit it. I'm just packing up now. Battery's about to die. I guess I'll see y'all when I get home. Good night and good luck.